My guest today is an actor and comedian, probably best known as his role as Randy Meeks in the uh, Scream franchise. By the way, the newest Scream movie due to be released in January 2022. Um, And although I really liked him in that, I'd have to say my favorite was watching him uh, in the Jamie Kennedy experiment. Now, for anyone who's too young to remember or too old to remember, that was like a, a hidden camera prank show that just had me rolling all the time. Um, all right. So this thing came across my desk. It was hand sanitizer. And I'm like, oh, you know, pandemic and everything. And then the hand sanitizer is called jizz off. So that made me chuckle. The thing that really caught my eye was that the celebrity endorser was Jamie Kennedy. And I thought to myself, <laughs> OK, not too many people would be able to pull that off or would be willing to pull that off. And I said, that's perfect. So did they like, hey, Jamie, we got a thing called jizz off. We want you to be the face of that doesn't sound right, but how did they approach you? And you said yes. Uh, well, you know, it's a long story. I'll give you the simple answer. We're in the middle of a pandemic. And uh, my friend, you know, one of my best friends, probably my best friend, John, uh, and his sisters all came over and they had a barbecue for me for my 50th. I was paranoid. Like, literally, they were putting food in the middle of my yard, of a nice backyard. And I would go and get it like a feral cat. And then I'd run away. I mean, this was 2020 May. Remember that? That's what like yes. drop droplets. So I would go and they would make fun of me, you know, and they were careful, but a little bit more, you know, out there than I was. And so they're like, you're so paranoid. Blah, 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 blah. And they're like, you, you, need, you need to have your own. You should have your own sanitizer. You should have jizz off. I'm like, jizz off? What's that? And then Celeste and her friend, Colleen, another uh, childhood friend, they got together and they started this sanitizer called jizz off. I was like, is that real? And they're like, yeah. And so it's kind of brilliant because basically uh, they say it's germs, dirt, schmegma, gunk, whatever it is. They go, why can't it be called jizz? And I'm like, yeah, like people think jizz is that one thing, but it's a lot more than that. And it's like, oh, there's like jizz on it. We kind of said that in Philly. I do remember that. People would say that. I thought it was hilarious. I thought it was really interesting. And the sanitizer's really good. Like, I'm not saying that because I'm involved. It's soft. It's got all the germ killing powers, but yet it's soft and it doesn't dry your hands out and it smells good. And it doesn't smell like bleach, those who get it. Right. So I was like, this is so interesting. And um, my name is Jamie, but people know me as different things. And like, I used to have an email called Jizz Amy and Jizzified because of rap, because I was B-Rad and all this stuff. So I was like, it could be a twofold. It could be like a hip hop thing and like a possible sex thing. Okay. <laughs> um, they called up Miami Pride. Miami Pride's like, let's do this. So we started a, a, a soft launch and <laughs> no joke, Tenet. And, and we'll never, was, we'll never look at jizz the same way again. Yeah. And you take that little bottle and that just fits in your pocket. Exactly. And you just spray it. Boom. And you're done. Like done. And it smells good. Yeah. And. So is that a bottle of jizz off in your pocket or. Yeah. Or are you just happy to see me? Jizzoffproducts.com is where you want to go. And, but to me, it's here's your essential. You got your wallet. You got your chapstick. There's a Ford Maverick. You got your eye, your ear pods. You got your phone and you got your bottle of jizz and you're set to go. Yeah, totally. That is hilarious. That's the world. So that's why I got involved. And, and, you know, we're, we're a baby company. We're trying to grow, but, uh, it's a very good product. I and love it's it. all the girls, the girls idea. I love it. Um, awesome. Hey, so you're 50. You're like supposed to be over the hill, like One. well over the hill. How do you feel? Like, do you remember being young and thinking 40 was old? Yeah. I mean, my 40th birthday party, I had a great time. And, and um, my 50th was indoors. It was a beautiful time, but it was indoors, obviously. But I, yeah, I don't, I don't really feel that much different. I feel probably like I'm 21-ish still, but I don't feel whatever 50 or 51 was supposed to be is not that way. And I don't know, operating through my eyes, um, you don't, you know, uh, there was these pictures of Madonna the other day on the internet 
or something. She did some kind of thing that she got in trouble for. And she's like 63. And I'm like, wow, Madonna still looks incredible. I know. Like so Suzanne I think, Summers. I think, Have yeah, you Suzanne seen her? Suzanne Summers is oh. incredible. So I think, I think we're at this great age now in the world and the age where you don't have to look old and decrepit and you can take care of yourself and people are feeling good at all. I mean, I think there's all types of cougars are now looking, competing with Kylie, you know? Right. Yeah. Have you ever been married? No. Is that my choice? <laughs> no. <laughs> wow. Do people, people do get married without making a choice, right? Those are called uh, arranged <laughs> marriages. Right. That's uh, low key a crime. Um, uh, yeah, of course, it's by choice. Um, you know, really? I always say I'm not ready to be married because I'm not ready to have a boss. Ooh. I've had some girlfriends and they were like foremans. So I, when you get married, don't you have like a whole CEO? I know I'm canceled. I'm canceled for that job. No, actually, you're not because nowadays it's it's like totally okay. I, I listen. I think it's a wonderful, interesting concept. Um, but there's a it's every day it's going to get disrupted more and more because of technology, because we are such an insulated society, and you can go on your phone and you can buy your crypto and order your Uber and your Uber Postmates and your blah, blah, and your Netflix, and you can work from home. So at some point, you, is it marriage or you just need a companion? Obviously, love is love. That's a different thing, but there's a lot of things people conflate with love as opposed to love. Right. What about monogamy? Uh, monogamy is a uh, different thing for me it is is evolved over the years and um and it's a it's a many layered topic do you think humans are made to be monogamous or is that something i mean most people i talk to for this program think that that is just it's man-made that humans really aren't made to be monogamous that's interesting that you say that and you used to work for channel nine um because <laughs> I mean, well, I just don't think of the newscasters, you know, talking about this. So it's oh it's well, book. okay. Let me tell you, and let tell me if people in the Hollywood community is like this. The way we are off camera. Oh yeah. Okay, right. So totally different. There's an image, and then there's oh, reality. Whoa. Of course, I know some of the some of the craziest conversations I've had with people in uh, local affiliates. Um, the only reason I'm not married is possibly the monogamy thing. Yeah. The world is, the world has changed so much though. So it's, it's hard to say because it's post, you know, whatever we're in right now in terms of this pandemic. So it's just that now it's like, yo, what's up? Who are you talking to or whatever? Although I'm much more chill than I was when in my backyard. Um, but I think like when I was like, first of all, I'm a Gemini, oh. right? And I do believe that has something to do with it. I'm the youngest of six. Um, I'm an actor. I'm a comedian. Uh, so those are like four or five factors that play into this. And then I feel that as you're younger and then as you get older, things change. So you're kind of ruled by your genitals as a young man. Oh. And they kind of lead, they lead your, where you go. You know what I'm saying? That, that testosterone leads you. And as you get older, I think that you realize, okay, I don't, you can, you can look at the buffet. But you don't necessarily have to, you know, eat sam sample. And I think that, but no, do I do I think that people want to go out and explore? Yes, but there's there's different types of uh, things I've heard about. There's something called uh, sapiosexual. Oh, sapiosexuals, yeah. So sapiosexual are people that cannot have sex with somebody unless they're in love. 
I believe. Is that correct? I think they're more like intellectually um, attracted to someone like intelligence. You know, it's not just a physical thing. Yes. And I think that um, it's very, you know, it's it's such a many layered subject, but, uh, you know, women and men are are different, I assume, but maybe not because women, but I only have dated women, you know, but, you know, I think it's healthy to talk about these things, but I think sometimes it could make your partner upset. Well, yeah, they're uptight. Have you heard of, uh, have you heard of a thing called the lifestyle? (laughs) What's the lifestyle? The lifestyle is the, um, Ethically non-monogamous community, ethical non-monogamy, where, well, like swingers, oh, the polyamorous, where it's okay, you could be married, you could share your wife, you could have sex with other people, and it's all consensual, because oh. they're able to separate sex and love. Hmm. Yeah, I think a lot. I think I think that our society. It's very, uh, that's a thing that's not that. Mm, Accepted. Yeah. I don't think right. that, that that's there yet. I think that people put those two. And I think that sex can be sometimes just like a handshake and fun. And, but there's other people that feel that sex is much more than that. And I'm not saying it can't be amazing, connected, beautiful sex too, but there's all different types of it. Right. Okay. You're very diplomatic. Mr. Kennedy, very different. How am I? What, what was it? How was I? Well, saying it? <laughs> so, so, <laughs> yeah. So, but what are your personal feelings on non monogamy? Like, I'm sure it sounds like you've never been with a partner who was okay sharing you. Oh. <laughs> I love it when I can make Jamie Kennedy laugh. Um, uh, well, I've, yeah, I've had a lot of drama. I've had a lot of drama. And, um, I'm thinking about it. (laughs) (laughs) You said what? feel that I am not been with a partner that wants to share me. Is that what you said? Yeah. So it's like people you've been with get jealous. Do they get jealous? Like you couldn't go sleep with someone else with their consent. No. Right. No way. way. In fact, I've been with, you know, I've I've been very fortunate. You know, I've lived. uh, And I would say that. Uh, even people that would be considered like you would think, oh, much more free right. in the in the world and like with their labels, they might even be more ah than than like a normal. I find like more like normal women like and I don't mean normal, but like more tra- what's the traditional. Word? So you don't, yeah, that might piss people off too. I'm trying. Literally, this is a minefield we have to talk about. Because it's 2021, but like more, let's say like, um, what's what's it? Let's what's in a job that is like some? Uh, you can't even say school teacher because you know they're freaks. Uh, I'm they to are. Think, they I are. I'm, I'm just trying to think like a librarian, but you know they're freaks. No, they I, are. Like I'm, I, exactly. So I'm trying to think like if like a like a you you can't. Like someone who is, let's just say, uh, a coat check woman, a nice, (laughs) a classy, nice, normal coat check woman per se. Okay. And someone that may, let's say, dance. Let's just say that for a living, right? Oh. The the person in the more straight edge job is usually the wilder, possibly more open one than the person in the sex working field. But that makes sense because that's a whole other 20 hour podcast because it's monetized and all of this stuff. But yes, in a nutshell, I have never been with somebody. In fact, just talking about it really pisses 
oh, oh it pisses oh. off your partner like oh, insanity yeah. like that just will it, that's what i'm saying things get conflated with what they are but i will say there's one thing and i, and I don't want to go off the thing and i want you to hold your thought is that i will say there is something i believe now someone introduced me to with sex energy in the terms of like if you have sex with somebody with bad mojo that mojo may go on you and i do kind of believe that and you know what you know what we use for that But yes, I've never been with a partner who's like, please go have sex with that waitress. Okay. Um, And you may choose not to answer this, but if you had the opportunity to be in a relationship with someone who was really open and wanted to maybe watch you with someone else or share you, whatever, would would that be cool? I mean... This took a turn from the weather. Um, <laughs> you mean like, oh, what would I have? I mean, I'd have to like, love the, the thing is, is I wouldn't be within a relationship that wouldn't define my soul committed relationship thing. I mean, that would probably be a little part of it. But for me, the relationship has to be because of a love and all of these other things and laughter and all of this connection. But that's a, that, that would be an interesting thing with it, you know? And then women always say, well, you know, I get to get my cake and eat it too. And I've always been like, go for it. You know what I mean? Like, yes, okay. So you cake. wouldn't, you wouldn't be jealous. Like if your woman wanted to, you wouldn't be jealous. You'd let her. I've n- I've never really had that problem, but, but maybe because I got spurned at a young age, you know, maybe I got hurt, but m- maybe, maybe not. You know, I'm not like sitting there, like broadcast it and send me that videos. I don't want that shit, but um, <laughs> like I'm saying, I've never understood if people were doing thing over here and then they go, but you can't. I mean, that's, that would be fair. I'm a fair person. So if, yes, if you're doing that, then the other person should be allowed to do that. I do agree with that. As long as everything's talked about, but you know, there's all different levels to that, but I'm saying I don't need to see it. Right. But I don't oh. know. Okay. Well, some people like seeing it. Have you ever heard of cuckolding? Yeah, but that's a cuck. That's a whole different thing. I ain't that. Okay. Well, you, cuck, well, you know what cuck cleanup is. Jesus, you yes. can go down that road. I mean, that's the, I've had, I've had people, I've had some, crazy stories happened to me on the road and you know, I don't know how much I could say, but you can say like, as much as Jay, you have a podcast. <laughs> Holy moly. I've heard you talk on your podcast. You say whatever the hell you want. I talk about, I talk about life. I don't talk about like intimate, like this type of stuff, but this is the best part of life. Sex. Yeah. Sex is, should be enjoyed, right? You shouldn't feel bad. You shouldn't feel bad oh, about wanting. I agree, wanting to. I agree okay. with that. So I you've had some, that. you've had some wild times, right? Yeah. But I've also had, yeah. I've, yeah. I've had three sums. And that's, that's like Tuesday night. Possibly. Yeah. And, Possibly. Uh, foursomes. <laughs> but, yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Jamie, I can count pretty high. We'd end up sitting here all day. Um, okay. So then, Believe it or not, unless it's just a wild, drunk, one-time thing, if you've participated in things like that, then you've participated in lifestyle activities. Oh, it's called lifestyle activities. Yeah. So whether you're swingers or, you know, a hot wife where you just share your, or a bull, I, I could see you as a bull, but like as a funny bull. Where What's a bull? A bull is someone who will sleep with someone else's girlfriend or wife because the husband wants it. I, 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 I've I've had these type of opportunities. Like dudes will want that, but yeah. the women will be hitting on me hard, yeah. and I'll be like, "Great, you know, send your husband to Starbucks." And he, he's like, "Oh no, <laughs> no, no, he's got a lot. He's part of the package." And I'm like, "What? Like, why is he gonna be here?" And that's you know the reasons why I haven't really got down like that because. I don't know what's going to happen when I'm with this lady, like when he comes with a broom handle or who knows. So it's like, I'm, you know what I'm saying? Like, but that I, I realized that as I got older, that that's a whole thing. Like people actually, 
really yeah like the lady it's a, i don't know what all of it is the dude wants it but the dude's like this little cowering dude he's like my oh wife likes you, you maybe he was I mean? a cuck maybe he was a cuck maybe i don't know there's all types of people have come up and said crazy stuff yeah and i'm wondering if that's because of the industry that you're in do you think that uh well I, you've probably heard like um will smith and jada pinkett have have come out saying that they have an open ish marriage they it's not a traditional monogamous marriage do you think more of that actually goes on in hollywood than people let let on a thousand percent are you kidding me <laughs> a bajillion percent first of all i think hollywood gets a bad rap because i think the the the, the life of the the traditional american is very freaky right. um I don't know, like the Will and Jada thing. I hear about it. You hear about all different things. And um, it's kind of crazy because I was on the movie when they got married, Enemy of the State, and that was a long time ago. And I don't know. I just see, like, you know, it seems like she talks about it and, and Will kind of responds to it. I don't really know enough. And I hate it when people put people's business out there. But I guess if they're talking about it. But, yeah, it seems like they have a much more, I don't know, it seems pretty healthy. Seems like they're they talk about it. Are you in a relationship right now? Um, well, I keep it low key. Right, like so, <laughs> like so many of you Hollywood types do. Um, Why is that? Why do you think we do that? Well, you know, there's so much of your life that's public. There, you, there's something to keep for yourself, right? Yeah. And and also, I mean, like even me, just being on the news, I I couldn't, I, like, I just wanted that by myself. And your private life is really not your public life. You know, people expect you to be a certain way. Although with you, you're so crazy anyway. They're like, don't they, do people expect you to be crazy? Like, do you wild. think I'm crazy? Do you people think I'm crazy? Like wild, like, you know, anything goes kind of guy. Yeah, but I am, like, I'm open to my mind. I'm open to discuss and talk about anything, you know, but it doesn't mean I do everything. You know what I mean? But I'm not going to really judge anybody who does anything. You know what I mean? Like, love who you want, as long as everything is consensual and, you know, nothing illegal. Did you really not ever know or hear about the lifestyle? Like, you didn't know? Well, I've, heard about all, oh, I've heard all types of lifestyles, but I've never heard of, like, it called the lifestyle. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, like, you, you don't know the signs of, of swingers? No. I okay, just so know like, about, like, key parties. Right, which is what everyone thinks of when they think of swingers. But, you know, the upside down pineapple is it pineapples are a sign of swinger of being a swinger. You didn't know that. Oh, no. black rings on your right hand is a sign of a swinger. Anklets no. on women. What is it? Anklets when women wear anklets. OK, that means they are a hot wife which means it's okay for their husband, for them to sleep with other men. This is why I talk about this now, because it's so intriguing and fun. I never heard any of this. I don't know if I believe you. And I mean, really? no, I swear to God, I've never heard of any of that. The only thing I ever heard is when a woman wears a choker, they're supposed to be a black belt and giving head. Oh, I've never heard that. Yeah, a choker. If you wear a choker, it means you're a black belt and giving head. Oh, just let me tell you that, you know, we, when you were trying to struggle for a job that seemed normal and traditional, most of the guests on my show are, I mean, I've got lawyers, doctors, teachers are really freaky. Nurses and cops are some of the freakiest people ever. Totally. I agree with that because they see trauma all day. So they right. want they've to got, I mean, they've got this, you know, job where they're supposed to be responsible and all that. And then, you know, they go home and they just fly their freak flag. And good for yeah. them. Yeah. I actually think people in Hollywood are more chill because we get to live a crazy life. Yeah, you're probably right. There's a hot to the sex. But there's also a hot in discovering it. Like a way a woman looks at you, you're somewhere and, you, you know, you're you're at Trader Joe's and you're reaching for the same, you know, herbal mint tea and ooh, <laughs> sorry about that. Or she, ooh, she took, you know, and there's like, a, you know, there's chemistry or whatever. And then you like, you guys go have for a coffee and there's innuendo. 
innuendo is sexy. You know, obviously when it's in the moment, when you get there, you get it. I'm saying it's just like, there's a way to keep it classy. I Maybe I'm an old lady then, but I do love, because I know classy women have always been the freakiest, but they're classy. But maybe I'm, I'm a piece of shit. But I think, isn't that nice or no? I love. So classy on the outside, right? Yeah. Oh, is that bad? No, that's good. It's open-minded, it's everything class. But it's, is it like, is it like, if a guy was like talking about, oh, I ate her, I ate her pussy. Yeah, that's, it's dirty. Me? That's like dirty. It's not sexy. No, it, it's, it's, yeah, it's just like, it's like, dude, what are you? It's like locker room like, talk. More than that. It's like, yo, I was eating her pussy. And it's like, it's like, come on, dude. Like have some, it's, a, it's a disrespectful. Mm. That's what it is. And it's like, so if a girl's like, if I don't want to, if I don't want to see a girl on the podcast, I'm just gagging on this cock. But <laughs> unless it's a porn, then I don't want to see that on like the morning news. Does that make sense? Well, yeah, I, I don't want to see it on the morning news either. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that's what yes. I'm saying. I'm saying, so it's like, you can do it all, do it all, but just there's an area for that. Does that sure. make sense? Of course. Uh, you know, you kind of screwed me up because <clears> I'm thinking <throat> okay. this, I'm thinking of that. We're going to have to cut to 20 minutes. We can yeah. actually have a normal podcast next time. No, this this is good. This will this is like three different shows. A, I probably gave you a lot of stuff. Three three different shows. 